So we are going to analyze between point A to point C. So this equation will be only be valid 0 to x to L over 2. These are the operating limits. Okay. So if you were to recall, this over here will have what will have uh, uh, PY over 2. This is your point A. This is your distance, what? X. Okay. And then we are going to assume positive shear. So our analysis now is from where? Left to right. Okay. So positive shear. So V as a function of X. And over here, M as a function of X. Then all we need to do now is to carry out static analysis. So positive is going up summation forces in the y direction is equal to zero so what we have is uh py over two minus by vx is equal to zero so what we have is vx or v uh, v as a function of x sorry not vx okay so v as a function of x is equal to py over 2. This we call our equation 1. So now if we were to take moment, so I mentioned about moment in the z x, or moment taken about the z axis, any point at the variable x. So we are taking moment at this point. Okay. So what we have is uh, minus py x Divide by 2, multiply by a distance x, then we plus moment about point x is equal to 0. Okay. So what we have, oh no, 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 that is already multiplied by x already. I do apologize. So from here, we can write out, one. I'm going to move my notes a bit so I can have more space. So over here, moment about x is equal to py x divided by what? 2. Okay. So that is our equation number 2. Now, if we were to look at our cantilever beam, okay, we will look at the cantilever beam. Okay, if we or to look at our cantilever beam. Right. So for our cantilever beam, so we are going to do our shear force and bending moment on our cantilever beam. All right. So again, this is between. Okay, this is between. Uh, point A to C, right? And then you have zero X and L over two. So these are the limits. What you realize is our our free body diagram is the same, right? For our cantilever beam, right? So this is our V as a function of X and our moment as a function of X and this is our x direction and over here is where we have our geometric data so you realize that the equations are the same right so if over here you have positive that's going up some of forces in the y direction is equal to zero so you have py over two minus by v as a function of x is equal to zero so V as a function of X is also equal to PY over two. Okay, so this is uh, this is our equation number three, right? And then we're going to take moment again. So I mentioned moment Z anywhere at point X 
is equal to zero. So you will have, will have what? So minus dy x over two plus by moment about point x is equal to zero. So moment about point x is equal to uh, py x over two. And this is our equation number four. So the equations are exactly the same, okay? So we have proven that the cantilever beam or the simply supported beam, right, shown over here is equivalent to the cantilever B, okay? So now I'm going to sketch out the, the, the shear force and bending moment diagram, okay? So we are going to sketch out the shear force and bending moment diagram. So I will have uh, so this will be our this will be our V. So this is our shear force diagram. Right. So over here, this is our L over 2. And then this is our L. So this is our X. This is our 0. So we know that the, the, the shear force is PY over 2 positive. Okay. So go down here. So this is PY over 2. It will go horizontal this way. Then it goes down to minus PY. Okay. So PY over 2 go down by minus P. So it now become minus PY over 2. And then it comes here. And then go back here. Okay. So this is our shear force diagram. And then if we were to sketch our bending moment diagram. So this is our X, and then this is our moment about Z, and then we have L over 2, and over here we have L, okay? So this diagram will look like this, okay? It won't have a straight line going up here. So if we were to look at the function, right, if we were to look at a function, is PYX over what? 2, right? So so this is a positive gradient, okay? On the cantilever beam, it's also positive gradient. So this thing will go up like this. And then after that, it will come down. Okay? So this will be equal to PY L. So if we were to look at a function, right? So moment as a function of X is equal to uh, PY X over, I can't remember, PY X over two, right? So that value at this point over here is uh, PY L over four. So that is the uh, maximum. So this is equal to your Mx. Okay, maximum bending. Since we are here, right? I want you to recall about your shear force and bending moment diagram, okay? So I want you to see this, okay? If the shear force magnitude is positive, right? The bending moment uh, gradient, right? Right. So we know that the magnitude. So I'm going to write down here the magnitude is positive. What we see over here in terms of bending moment is the what? Is the is the fact that the gradient.
is what? Positive. Okay. And then if the shear force is negative, right? So what you can see over here, the magnitude over here is negative. And what we realize is that the bending moment diagram, the slope is what? The gradient is what? Over here, the gradient is what? Is what? Negative. Okay. So this is our first observation. Uh, second observation we can see is when is when at this point, right? At this point over there, where V is equal to zero, right? When the shear force is equal to zero, there is a possibility that uh, bending moment is at the maximum. When I say possibility, okay, is you have to check. Okay, sometimes the shear force will pass through the zero zero line a few times. Okay, so you have to check. Okay, so these are the things to take note on shear force and bending moment diagram. Just a quick recall: when you do bending, you need somehow to remember your shear force and bending moment diagram. For this case, bending moment diagram is more important. So just to quickly recap, number one thing is what? When the magnitude of the shear force is positive, the gradient is what? Positive in the bending moment. If the magnitude of the shear force is negative, the gradient of the bending moment will be negative. Okay, the next thing to take note is when, when the shear force is equal to zero, there is a possibility that the bending moment is going to be at its maximum. Have to check. Now, what do we mean by positive moment and what do we mean by negative bending moment? Okay, so in terms of deformation pattern, okay, positive bending moment, okay, means the deformation pattern will have a smiling face. A negative bending moment means the deformation pattern will be a sad face. That's it, okay? So, so positive bending moment will generate a deformation pattern that is smiling face. Uh, negative bending moment will generate a bending moment in a sad face. Okay, so one smiling face and the other one a sad face. Okay. So now I have I have done a quick recall with all of you regarding shear force and bending moment diagram and how to easily get your shear force and bending moment magnitude and how I show that a simply supported beam can be uh, similar to a cantilever beam. Before I go on to the unsymmetrical bending, we realize that at point C, okay, it's at L over two. And the structure will fail is because of what? Bending moment is at its maximum. Okay. So if we look at so this so this diagram over here in terms of shear force and uh, bending moment diagram, the whole thing when x is equal when when from zero x to l, it is for what? Simply supported. Beam. Okay, in this diagram. When it's from 0 x to L over 2, it is for the cantilever beam. Okay. That's it. Right? So if, if, if we were to just look until L over 2, it is just for the what cantilever beam. So if why is that? Because if you look at equation number one, is the same as equation number what? If you look at equation number one, is the same as equation number three. If you look at equation number two, it's the same as equation number four. Left hand side is simply supported. Right hand side is cantilever B. Okay. Right. So now, um, you all understand what it means 
by uh, positive shear, positive bending moment assumption, and also you all know more or less how to sketch your shear force and bending moment diagram. The next thing that we're going to look is going to be known as unsymmetrical bending. 